Hey guys, what is going on? I am here in Huntley, Illinois, and we're gonna go check out more brewing company. Amor Brewing Company Huntley location is actually their second location. Their original is in Villa Park, Illinois. Now this one's a lot bigger, a lot more space, it's got a bigger brewing system, and as you can see, packs it in here with people. Right when you walk into more, you can see absolutely how huge this place is. Now you can see they have a lot of their beer to go, so it's really nice to be able to take some home with you when you leave. They also have a really nice gift shop area, glassware, a little bit of different swag, and as you'll see, they also have some clothing for you to be able to choose from. One of my favorite things when I go to a brewery is if they do a barrel aged beer, we can see all the barrels here. They have a ton of them, so we know that they're going to be producing a lot of stuff. I was really excited to see not only Bliss, but also Buffalo Trace uh, barrels here as well. Now this one had a little bit of a leak, so a little bit of a mess there on the bottom. We were actually seated in the barrel room. I was really loud in here because there was a big party going on, so you might notice that there was uh, very little audio in the very beginning. Getting food is always a must. So Bobby and V went ahead and got some Wisconsin cheese curds, which look amazing. My buddy Nick got the Moore burger with fries, and I went after the Italian beef egg rolls. Now it was really, really loud in here. So I didn't know what to do about the audio. I went ahead and put in the microphone a little bit later, but I wanted to get into this food. I was starving and these rolls were amazing. How is it? Good. All right, so I'm gonna try Final Girl. This is brewed by all of the women here at Moore Brewing Company. Oh, there's a fruity note to it. Oh, there's a little bit of spice. I think there's some jalapeno in here or something, but there's a little bit of spice in here. What else is in here? Pineapple, yeah, the pineapple comes through pretty quickly. Um, so I had the, the roll that had the, I can never pronounce it, jeered, Donna, Giannara, whatever it's called, right? So that already was spicy. So when I had my first sip of this, I didn't really get the spice, but I got a lot of the pineapple. Second one, spice going all the way down. It is building. I don't know what I'm doing here, but this is really good. If you're here, come try it. Now when I saw they had a Nashville hot chicken sandwich, you know I was going after it. Look at the pickles and slaw on top of this really nicely breaded chicken breast. Pretty decent looking sandwich if you ask me. Bobby got the queso beer tacos. V ended up with a salad and Nick already ate so he didn't get anything else. I need a bib, all right. So I don't know if you guys can hear me. We're gonna try. Uh, we're gonna do Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Look at this, look at this thing. Y'all know I love me a good hot chicken sandwich. Someone's gonna see my fries, she's gonna get stabbed in a minute. All right, I got my friend V here. She literally stole a fry from my plate. If she doesn't make it out of here alive, it's not my fault. It's 
It's got a good flavor on the sauce. The pickles are fresh, crispy, probably even house-made. But after my first bite, I will tell you, it's not spicy. It's not as spicy as that last beer that I had. There's a party going on here. Yeah. All the suburban parents are going crazy. Yeah, okay, so very solid chicken sandwich. I'm just not getting the spice, I'm not getting the heat. It's supposed to be natural hot. My face should be melting off, and it's not. So, I'm gonna keep drinking my beer. I got another double hazy IPA. I love the beers here at Moore. I think they're really, really good. So, um, all right. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. Oh, I didn't talk about these fries. I was thinking they're gonna play second fiddle, but they're good. They're sturdy, crispy, got good flavor, nicely salted. Yeah, fries hold up pretty well here. So, suburban parents are gone. It's a little bit quieter in here now. You can probably hear me. All right, so Prince Goro. Mm. A double hazy IPA. Don't ask me what the hops are in it, but it's really good. I love these glasses too. I mean, they're pretty solid. So, I gotta tell you guys, so far, I am actually loving this place here. Moore and Huntley, it's huge. It's absolutely enormous. And uh, a lot of people here, uh, very kid friendly, as you can probably tell. Um, going on here so you didn't know the hops oh all right so <laughs> if you wanted to <laughs> all right so um i just said i didn't know what the hops were in here my buddy bobby we call we like to call him blue eye bobby the most gorgeous blue eyes you'll probably ever see on a guy uh but he's letting me know that there is a citra el dorado idaho seven and some new zealand with a whole bunch of letters behind it, an experimental. So um, if you are a big fan of beer, those hops may or may not mean something to you, but it goes very well in here. All right, so like I said, absolutely love it here at the Moore Huntley. The food was great. The atmosphere is amazing. Um, you know, what? I said the company's better. Yeah. Uh, the company here has been amazing. Uh, I got my, my buddy Nick, V, Bobby, we're just having a good time here. Uh, they did not want to be on video, so you do not get to see them. I'm sorry, you got to stare at this face, but it's cool. Yep, what you don't know is the camera is actually pointing at you. No, I'm just kidding, I wouldn't do that to you, but come check this out. Hopefully uh, this video helped you guys determine if this is the place you want to hang out at. If you live in the area, and you come here all the time, then you are lucky because I am two hours away from here and I would be here almost every other weekend if I had the opportunity. So hopefully you enjoy this. Let me know uh, what you think in the comments below. Peace out. This is from my girl V. This is show up on the blooper reels.